Hello Grinder School, this is Colossus and today I was going to start a 10 and 6 max video but before I uh, started playing I wanted to see how I was doing at 10 and L. not that I play 10 and L anymore but I believe that in the last 5 months I've played some 10 and L, uh, either for fun or for making videos and I just wanted to see how the 10 and L game is going I loaded up Poker Tracker uh, set the uh, filters to this year and the 10 and L game and uh, I was happy to see that I'm doing really well at 10 and L 6 max uh, I wanted to show you guys my stats I refer to some of my other videos if you want me to uh, if you want to hear me going into detail about stats and stuff there's definitely some other videos of me at Grinder School also uh, keep in mind this is only 17,000 hands it is nothing I believe that I made a video where I show my entire poker tracker database at the micro stakes uh, so I refer to that video if you want to have a lot more details and uh, and, uh, and other stuff uh, I just want to show you guys this because I, I found it interesting that my stats have shifted kinda uh, 2016, 20, yeah, 2016 well let's say a couple of years ago at 10 an hour I would have been playing like 17, 13 or, or even tighter uh, so I'm happy to see that my game uh, loosened up um, I'm doing uh, running uh, yeah then big bets per hundred hands. That's uh, really nice. I'm not gonna talk about my stats. You can pause the video if you and compare them to yours. I'm, uh, I will show you my positional stats um, because the VPIP and preflop race uh, at every position is quite important. Uh, from the small blind in the big blind, you'll never be winning money. At least I haven't seen somebody make a lot of money from the small blind or the big blind either way. Um, so this is for you to compare. Uh, I just uh, found it interesting that uh, to show you guys that the games are still easily beatable. Uh, take a look at my three bet stat. It's two percent. I never three bet. Uh, like almost the only cards I three bet are aces and kings practically. Um, I, it's my own kind of style, uh, but it works fine at micro stakes apparently. Um, I will go over a few hands uh, every time before I start playing I do well not every time I shouldn't be lying to you guys but a lot of the times before I start playing uh, I take a look at my last session or the last month and I open up let's say uh, the hands where I uh, lost uh, quite a bit of money let's see I see here 8 9 suited lost okay it has to load a little bit apparently I'm also in this video I'm going to take a quick look at the Grinder School uh, cash forum and after that I will do some live play uh, so in this video there will be a little bit of everything uh, what happened here I just want to show you guys here how I go uh, into uh, into my playing session it's now 10 o'clock in the morning I still have all day to play and as if I don't get bothered by uh, by someone uh, here I raise 8, 9 suited under the gun I don't mind it uh, I'm looking at everybody's stats the, the, the donkey here apparently is in the big blind 33, 17 so it could have been that I've been targeting him uh, 8, 9 suited is a decent hand you can uh, you can definitely raise it under the gun uh, not when you're starting out but when you have enough experience and when there aren't any big calling stations uh, who have position on you uh, you can uh, definitely play this uh, what I flop the nuts I'm just gonna quickly go I'm obviously bad 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 I raise him the reason why I raise him I just want to get the money and if I merely call here with uh, I'm never uh, getting uh, enough money in the pot so never never ever ever call here you also don't want to see another heart come off uh, another king comes off. I'm not really uh, afraid of anything. A 3317 can have anything here. Um, he sh I should be. Sh wow, I don't shove. Huh. Wait a minute. Why don't I shove? Am I afraid? Is this afraid of the full house? He did have the full house. This is weird. This is weird in the fact that he didn't shove on the on, on the turn with his set. 
I mean, the only hand that beats him is like aces, kings, and the flush, the flopped flush. But these are so rare. Huh? It's a weird play by him, but I'm I'm also kind of surprised that I didn't shove here. Um, this is my typical nitty. Oh my god monster under the bed syndrome this is a mistake of mine okay but uh, I will keep this in mind uh, when I start my session that I have to stop being such a pussy and I should definitely be raising here uh, I mean uh, if I'm good here I'm, I'm losing like five dollars almost uh, by not shoving it in okay weird play by me well that's uh, uh, Sometimes how it goes. Let's take another look here at the pocket fives. I lost another buy-in apparently. Doo -doo -doo. Just waiting a second until it loads up. Uh, so keep it out. Keep it in mind. Don't be a pussy in the live play session. Which come on, the hands are coming up so slowly. And now, okay, there it is. Let's see what happened here. Uh, this looks like a typical set mining hand. I do set mine. Uh, I flop bottom set. Um, uh, the guy who raises 28, 25, loose, aggressive. Uh, um, should be raising here every single time versus. Uh, yeah, I do. You see bets. I raise. Uh, oh, I didn't see big blind came along and shoved all in. I'm not falling. Uh, he can have like. Oh, I mean, I, I have a set. He can. Have, there's so many draws out. He can have two overcards with the with with the, with the flush uh, draw. Uh, there's straight draws out. Um, he can have higher sets. But if that's the case, well, I mean, so be it. Um, by the way, if he has a higher set, I doubt that he would. Sh well, uh, the flop is really drawy. He probably doesn't want to see also another card. Uh, but anyway, I'm not. If it's set over set, it's a cooler. Um, what happens is the guy shows up with the flopped straights. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, actually, I was. I'm doing really fine for even for uh, against seven four uh, here. Uh, I have so. I really have a lot of outs. Definitely, when the spades on, on the turn comes, but don't. Uh, well, I, I don't know that obviously. But even uh, against seven four on the flop, with. You can calculate it actually. It shows you how much. It should show you how much uh, equity show no home cards. My equity here is 40% on the flop. F yeah. Let's see how it. Yeah, it's 40% on the flop. Uh, I think I hope poker. I don't trust poker tracker all that loud. I would use poker stove. Uh, but on the flop, you, as you can see, my equity is 40%, even against the flop straight, just because we have so many outs in the sense that uh, we can uh, just make a full house. Okay, so uh, I don't mind my play there. Uh, let's take a look at the hands where I won a lot, because usually people don't look at these hands, but. I am focused on the hands where I could have laid down pocket aces or pocket kings or did something stupid with a really good hand. What happens here is I don't like to see the cards of my opponent. I have uh, kings uh, under the gun raises. Under the gun is a complete idiot. Oh, I shouldn't be saying that. It's a monkey. Uh, 89, 59. So I'm, I'm, that's why my 3-bet is so big, I know he, this guy is not going to fold. Uh, we are a little bit deeper also, I want to build a pot right now. Uh, monkeys don't fold, especially not 89, 60 monkeys. So I make a really huge 3-bet. Flop comes really nice, uh, I don't see, I, I, I can only see me do one thing, bet, bet, bet. I want to get the money in, he dunks into me. Uh, I, I don't like my bet here in the sense that it's a little bit big. Uh, I can slow down here. So, but on the other hand, the guy is uh, a monkey, so uh, he calls. Wow, I can even shove now on the. Well, actually, I don't mind. Actually, I like my uh, bet on the. Fl I take it away. I like my bet on the flop. I played it fine. I can shove the turn here. Um, and hope to get called by like 8x or 
any pocket pair, uh, I don't know, all kinds of crazy stuff, uh, jacks, stuff, stuff like this, tens, nines, uh, anything. Uh, I'm not afraid of anything here, right here. Uh, the only thing I'm afraid of is making him fold. Um, I shove. Uh, well, there's a pot size bet left. Uh, he calls. Uh, these hands drive some people insane that he got shot at me on the river for a f for a huge pot. Uh, okay, this stuff happens. Uh, shit happens. Um, I played it fine that one. Let's see. Here I lost a little bit. Let's see. I lost my money here with kings. Uh, somebody min raises. I uh, make a three bet. I get call from the big blind. Uh, keep in mind we are twenty big blinds deep. Oh, uh, but I'm saying two hundred big blinds deep. I call nice flop. Why don't I raise here? Damn, I should be raising here against the dunk. Wanna? Oh yeah, I should be raising here. We get called. Again, this is my... I don't know. I bet on the on the turn. I'm, I'm, I can't see that I'm beat anywhere unless... I'm only beat by GM Eco if he has a set. Because I don't see him... I, but I expect to get raised on the, on, the, on the river now by a set. Uh, yeah. Okay, the tree sucks in the sense that any ace beats me now, so I can't bet on the river. Uh, any six, any ace beats me, so I expect me to check back. And I saved myself a lot of money, uh, apparently, by checking back because the guy flopped. Uh, this, this set, but uh, I mean, you can be influenced, but this, this should be a race on the on the flop. Yeah, I mean, I saved myself a lot of money, but. I should be raising here on the flop. By the way, um, so uh, by the way, uh, if GM let's say I raise here on the flop, and GM eco goes all re raises, which essentially is going to be uh, uh, is not folding then. When let's say I make it here three dollars, or even two fifty, and the guy GM eco re raises me, I'm folding. <laughs> I mean, it's nitty, but I can't see. I can't see him doing that with ace queen because he knows that he's only gonna get called by me when I have aces or kings. So it, it, the guy is so nitty, uh, fourteen eleven. That if he, if he, I would have raised here on the flop and he re-raises, I'm done. Uh, I played his hand again too pussy like. I should have raised on flop. Uh, at least make it two fifty three dollars. Uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't probably because the fl the board is so dry. I'm not. I, I I I probably didn't do it because the board is so dry. But uh, against two people, I should be raising this heads up. I can see uh, if Giamico was not on the hand. I can see myself calling because I have position. I can, uh, and he's not fully stacked. I can easily get the money in on the river by not shoving on a flop. Okay. Um, let's play aces. Let's see how I did with them. Uh, quickly see if the knit in me took over too much. Um, because this kind of stuff where you are too nitty does get punished at higher stakes. I'm doing fine at the micro stakes because all my money is coming from yeah, from monkeys paying me off when they should be falling. When it's like so obvious to what I have, they should be falling, but I mean, they just don't because. Uh, aces, uh, I3 bet, standard play. Uh, flop comes A34. Only thing that beats me are sets. I can't see myself falling at any point. But, but. I keep getting called by a 13-13 guy, which worries me in a sense that he doesn't have to raise me with a set because the flop is too dry, especially on the turn. I mean, he's got the nuts if he has a set, but I mean, there's still nines, tens, jacks, queens, kings in his uh, range, uh, so I keep on betting. And obviously hit the set, so in this case the knit didn't take over on me, but I, d I don't have any option. 
I don't have any option here to stack off. Uh, he called my three bet. I, I made. I kind of made a small three bet. Uh, yeah, I mean that's just stuff that happens. Uh, he said at me in a three bet pot. Uh, I'm not angry with him. I'm not angry with me. It's just stuff that happens. See, I lost here. I make a three bet, which is fine. Four bet all in. Oh no, uh, maybe it's interesting to see that. Well, quickly, I make a three. I like my call here. I don't shove, uh, basically because uh, he's got so little behind. If I, I mean, there's a pot size bet left, and I have position on the flop. There's a pot size bet. Well, a little bit over, but anyway, he's gonna see bet. I hope I just merely call here. Yeah, I do. Be, uh, because if he is bluffing and I shove, he can save himself two dollars, and I want his two dollars. So I make the call. He shoves and he show. Oh wow, he turned to five. Yeah, I mean, I, I like my play here. I lost the hand, but I mean, <laughs> okay, I like my play here just for the reasons. Uh, yeah, I mean, I played it perfect in my uh, in my opinion. Uh, I lost, but I played it fine. See pocket queens. Did I lose a lot of money there? Yeah, I lost the buying. Let's see. Uh, I quick, I, I quickly click the hand because I don't want to see what my opponent has. It always influences you know, my analysis. So I like to analyze, analyze, analyze my own hands. Uh, and put my opponents on a range here. I have queens. I get three bet by a 1917 guy. It's got a forces button. Uh, with queens, I'm all in. Uh, let's take a check. Here. Three bets, eight uh, percent. I I think it's just off camera, but his three betting percentage is eight. Uh, I have 200 hands on him. I think I'm I'm especially with the guy who called call Elf Kuna here. Uh, I am going to squeeze. Um, it's a big squeeze. Uh, but I don't mind it. It's a big squeeze. Um, we're fully stacked. Uh, I don't know. It's not that big. It's two four, two twenty, two fifty. Because I'm out of position if uh, the button does call. So I like it. Um, I get called by the call, uh, button. Oh, by both people. Flop comes king high. Uh, it sucks against two people. I should be check falling. Again, a three bet pot here. I do check button bets blue. Ha! <sighs> button um, reason why button my bet is that it gets checked around to him, but still, I should be fooling at this point. Okay, the flop just came. Just, I mean, I got called by. Two people in a four bet pot. See it like this, and I have an under pair, basically to the board. Uh, I have to believe that I'm not good. That somebody either has aces kings or at least ace king. I don't like this. What I do here, I don't. I don't know. Maybe I. I know I lost a hand. Uh, maybe I. He shoves on the. F oh, I really don't like what I'm doing here. Oh, this. This is wow. This is some. Sometimes I'm such a nitty guy, and then I do this stuff. Uh, what is he shows up with his king? I mean, I don't like his play by Anton. I mean, he should be getting it in, uh, in my opinion. Uh, if he's gonna call for a huge four bet with his king, I mean, it's better just to get it in because if the flop doesn't come, uh, king high. Uh, he basically has to fold uh, every single time, uh, so it's not even suited. Uh, I mean, oh, man, I played this like so. S he played it good because I played it so bad. Okay, I have to this uh, because th here I threw a lot, um, a lot of. M this pisses me off. This is all the other hands that I reviewed. I'm fine with it to a certain amount, and I'm a little bit too nitty, but that hand. Just pisses me off. Okay, final final one, and then I'm stopping because uh, I don't know if it's that interesting. No, I'm stopping. I didn't lost a lot of money here with pocket tens. Uh, let's take a look at uh, the one hand uh, where I did. 
um, apparently. Uh, I raise dance, get called, uh, flop set, fine. Uh, every, every time uh, I'm raising here, if he flopped the straight, uh, as I said in the beginning, uh, I'm still doing fine. There's a lot of uh, cards like spares and drops and uh, stuff like this, so I hope I raise here. And I do. Standard race, uh, I get called, the 8 isn't the best card, but I still have a lot of equity, even if he has a jack, so I check behind. Uh, because I, I, I don't want to get raised here per se. Um, if he bets like $2.70, I'm not falling either. But I'm not gonna bet here because I can only see him call with like a jack. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not afraid of, too, uh, of a lot of cards, so I bet. Oh, wow, this is a needy. F yeah, I mean. He bets 90 cents. It looks like please call me. I'm being don't beat the jack. I don't beat the flash draw. Uh, he bets on the river. I don't think I'm ever good here. Well, never say never. And it's uh, I'm getting nice odds actually to make the call, but I don't see him betting like with uh, with the queen here there. I think he just wants to go to showdown just like me. Okay, so I, 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 it's a fine river fault there. Save myself the one the ninety cents just because I'm never good, even with this cent. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the video, uh, see what's up on the grand school forums, and then do some live play. Okay, here we are back. I just opened it. Actually, was posted today, I guess, twentieth uh, of April. Yeah, it's today, I think. Or is it yesterday? Oh, it's yes. No, it's today. Um, so, uh, one of the good oldies is Big Slick, Ace King, sometimes I think this hand is not worth playing, yeah, so I'm guessing he went all in and got sucked down on or whatever, um, but so many times I think, so many times to think it's an all in hand, um, yeah, at the higher stakes Ace King is really good, at lower stakes where a trip, at, at micro stakes, you should be a lot more careful with Ace King. Let's just quickly go over his hand. What happened? Uh, he raises. He gets actually four bet. No, he ISO raises. No, wait. No, yeah, call, call. He gets three bet actually because he ISO raises. He gets three bet. He four bets and he gets shoved on. Uh, at this point, uh, you spend too much money. You, you have to call it off here. Um, Because the guy is not even fully stacked or what. Um, big blinds. Let me take a quick look here. Big blinds. Four dollars. And hero has is not fully st well. Practically, it's one hundred big blinds. Um, ho. He seems to be VPIP twelve eight point five. You you don't say anything about him three banning. This is weird. I mean, you have five thousand hands of him, and you. You say his VPIP and preflop raise. Okay, basically twelve eight point uh, twelve eight. He's a net. Uh, that can I, I can conclude for sure. And probably his three banning percentage is like two. If you bother to take a look, I don't know. Silent prayer. Uh, the member. If you bother to take a look, uh, I'm gonna type in uh, uh, watch colossus event just to help. Okay, but a with Ace King, uh, l well, let's take a look how I play Ace King. While well, I have the stance up, Ace King suited is doing fine. Let's come on. Oh, Poker Tracker is sometimes so slow. Okay, Ace King. Apparently, I'm doing fine. Twenty one. Yeah, I'm doing fine with Ace King. Uh, let's see if I ever lost a lot of money going all in. I don't go all in a whole that all that often um, with Ace King. Because I think Ace King is a great hand at the micro stakes to play post flop. Because a lot of people play with like any Ace X, and you get so much money out of it uh, by having the best kicker. Uh, let's see how I play Ace King. So, uh, oh look at me! The knit in me just merely calls. Uh, 1616 guy is. Uh, okay, I'm gonna tell you a story. The 1616 guy is yeah normal guy. You see a regular probably at uh, micro stakes. Why don't I treat that Ace King here? On one hand, I don't believe a 16 16 guy is going to call me with maybe with Ace Queen, and that's the only thing. And if the flop comes Ace High, 
I will get paid off by if he has ace queen. I I am gonna admit that. But he's gonna f let's tell what am I talking? Let's just check. Fold three bets. Yeah, one of out of one. Yeah. He's gonna fold all his worst aces, and I wanna keep them in if the pot comes ace high. Uh, and the flop comes ace high, so what happens here? He bets 50 cents, I call. Bets 110, I call. I mean, uh, basically, I'm hoping for him to uh, either be bluffing or be value betting with worst ace x. I don't wanna raise him on the flop because what am I gonna get called by? Uh, like ace 9, ace 10, pocket 9, pocket 10s. I mean,. I can't see him. I'm just merely calling him down here. Uh, wow. That's a big bet on the river. A call. And he has a stand. Ah, that's the stuff that you don't want to have. Okay. <laughs> this is funny that I'm showing this in a video. Okay, it's uh, this stuff happens and now I lose quite a bit of money. But if I 3 bet here, do you really want him to fold a stand? In a general, uh, don't look at the flop. Do you know you don't want him to fold the stand because you dominate him, and that's what you that's what you're looking for uh, in the micro stakes. For uh, uh, you want to dominate people, everyone, uh, just by playing a better range of hands. And if you push them out, their their weaker hands, um, you're not doing a, a, a very good job. Okay. Oh, now I wish I didn't show this in the video. Well, uh, maybe not. This stuff happens, okay. I didn't 3-bet. Probably if I 3-bet, he might fold. On the other hand, if I 3-bet and the flop comes like this, I have to stack off and I'm stacking off my entire stack uh, at that point. Um, okay. So, okay, let's go back to Silent Prayer. So, if I were you um, against an... 12 of 8.5 uh, person, you're never good here if he shoves. Uh, the the, all, the best thing you can hope for is that you're flipping versus queens. That's Or splitting versus another ace king. But, I mean, go to Poker Stove, Silent Prayer. Uh, it's free downloadable software. Put in ace king. Look at his 3-bet uh, percentage over 5,000 hands. 5,000 hands, is a, you're going to have a really, really good read on him. Uh, and put it in uh, like the two percent that he three bets. I'm guessing it's, it's a guy who's going to three betting like two percent or uh, something like me. And you will see that with eighth king, you're not doing uh, really well. What you could have done is uh, merely call uh, because his three bet isn't really huge. You have gonna have position post flop, uh, and he might might be three betting a little bit lighter because you it seems like you're ice raising. But I don't think a 12 8 guy. Uh, who's probably playing 20 tables is really taking that into uh, his head so but I would never get it all in against a, the ace king against the 12 of 8 guy I will get it all in pre-flop against guys who play like 50 12 and I know this is full ring and uh, everybody plays a lot more nittier but a 12 of 8 guy is a nit in full ring and it's a nit uh, out uh, in 6 max so uh, let's see if there's another hand uh, posted in the grinder school forms. Uh, come on. Uh, <coughs> oh. oh, no. Okay, it's this tap. Sorry. I did make a short video. I don't know if you guys saw it. Um, there's a lot of replies on that one. I'm just looking at the hand, top key pair, good kicker against the short stack, let's take a look at this one. Ace queen, this is an interesting hand, apparently it's a hand that happens a lot, uh, hero calls, cut off raises, uh, hero dunk bats, uh, I don't know why you dunk bats, um, because, I mean, <laughs> If cutoff raises here versus dunk bet, I think I already went over this hand, so I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Uh, cutoff might be raising here just because you dunk bet, because dunk betting looks weak. So, if cutoff raises here, you either you call, I mean, you should be getting it in. I mean, what are you going to suddenly fold then on, on, on the. Uh, I mean, and that's exactly what happens. If Think about your play before you do it. Uh, cutoff might be. Uh, 
by the way, I would be falling here. Uh, I don't know the stats of cutoff, 1640. Yeah, uh, it's a fault uh, on the turn. I'm not stacking off with ace, queen. You have n zero outs uh, anymore. Uh, so, unless a queen, but no, just fault. But I don't like to talk bad either way. See hands that are posted really recently. Heads up hands. I, I, I used to play a lot of heads up, so I like heads up. Uh, as we raise this, here was big blind. Here three bets. Queen jack suited. It's a it's a good hand to three bet. Um, heads up. Games play totally different. Uh, it's a fine hand to three bet. Heads up. Uh, as we calls, uh, we flop top pair. Medium kicker. Uh, well, decent kicker. Uh, heads up. Uh, yeah, you should we should be betting. Find bad hero bets, yeah, definitely betting on the turn. We just hit the nuts uh, on the turn, top two, uh, and bet, bet, yeah, I don't see why you do. Why do you post this hand? Hand play, it's one try. Uh, no experience, maybe three betting was a bad move. Well, three betting, it's it's not a bad move. I mean, it's heads up. It's not a bad move, three bets. It's fine. It's a fine three bets. Um, he was folding to almost all my three bets, and when he didn't, he folded to flop. Okay, so after the flop, I think it's betting for value. Other than that, no, you played it fine. I have no comments on this. Okay, so I'm gonna sh uh, take this video uh, and start the live play. Uh, and we're gonna keep in mind what we learned about my pussy play and see how I'm do. Okay, here we are back and I'll start already the video before the four tables were up because I do want to make one more point clear that is the fact that when I do play 10 and all my win rate it definitely has a huge positive influence on my win rate is that I table select you have so many nice options options at 10 you have so many uh, monkeys at the uh, at these stakes that you are really doing yourself wrong by not table selecting uh, I, what I and you've probably seen it in a lot of videos I just take a look, quick look around the table okay this guy limps in I'm gonna take him green he's not fully stacked that's a good table table one I'm staying on uh, uh, I so raise him uh, well I would have raised practically almost any two cards I'm definitely raising a pocket there and I'm just gonna no I don't want just raising and uh, c-banning now. Uh, the flop is really dry, uh, uh, really wet, uh, but I think I'm gonna still gonna, gonna get enough folds uh, to make it profitable. But this is a flop that it's not a standard c bet flop, uh, for instance, uh, the 8-6 jack. So uh, we already have one donkey on table number one, which makes me happy. Uh, the guy on my left is also half half stacked, uh, probably not too good. But anyway, I have a donkey on my right, which uh, it's a good table. I stay on. I don't switch it out. Uh, table number two. Uh, I'm talking really fast, isn't me? Or table number two. Uh, I see a guy 64. The only five hands, but. Uh, makes me happy to see this guy. Table number two, all oh, the rest seems capable. Uh, I see a few, this guy is not fully stacked, which makes me happy. Aces also make me happy. Table number three, um, yeah, this guy is a, a probably really bad. Uh, unfortunately, he's on my left. Uh, we get to get three bad by a shorty on table number one. Uh, five queen, I'm definitely falling. Um, and with the aces, obviously, I'm three betting. Uh, he's gonna fold like oh, really a lot. Well, we get a cold call with the three bets. Uh, flop comes a three ten, no reads, seven hands. Basically, I'm stacking off here um, on this flop. Uh, if he raises my C bets, uh, I'm stacking off. Uh, 
let's take a look at table number four. He merely calls, the three comes off, which is a good card in the sense that now I have two pairs, so if he has ten jack and a jack comes, I'm still good, uh, stuff like this. Uh, I can jack to canal, I'm just gonna play it straight up. This bet two. Oh, uh, he might be on a kind of draw. It's a pretty wet flop, so I'm gonna make it. Um, to eighty, and then shoved. Uh, yeah, two eighty. Ugh. I'm still not folding though. Uh, I can check to him and hope he bluffs. I can shove myself. Um, no reads. 14 0. Uh, it doesn't seem like the guy who is going to shove. He's going to go to showdown with a pair of 10s. Uh, he did cold call. He can have a set still uh, and not raise because he uh, nodded. But I'm still. He can have jacks. I'm just going to shove now. He can have jacks. Uh, I think that's a huge part of his range. Like, yeah. <laughs> Man, I'm so good. No. Uh, it was pretty obvious what he had. Um, one thing is, uh, if he had a flush draw, he is going to uh, raise my flop bet uh, a lot. Just because it's too expensive for him to call. Um, pocket eights. Well, we get squeezed there. Uh, I'm not set mining with pocket fours, that's for sure. I am ISO raising on table number one, so it's a fold. And here, I'm out of position, no reads. I'm just gonna fold my um, eights here, too. So he. Somebody squeezed there with ace queen suited. Is Jack, um, this is a standard uh, bet, uh, especially against this bet of people. Uh, I don't think uh, the only hand that beats me is Ace Queen, basically. No, nobody's home. Okay, uh, interesting hand, table number four, um, because this flop. Uh, I was going to say a bad word, but you know what I was going to say. It's not a good flop. Uh, a lot of two pairs, like uh, 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 or 9-10 has so many outs against me. The, I'm, I, am, I am going to see about it. And I hope that the guy who has position on me folds. But that's basically it. If I get caught, yeah, if I get raised, this is an insta fault. I'm... It's, he min raised it, you know, he clicked it, he made a few big blinds more than min raised, but I'm not stacking off on this board. Yeah, especially it was two handed. Um, I mean, I just have to fold. Bye bye, aces. This. And I might be wrong, he might have 9 10, but it's. Uh, that's in the, uh, one of the best cases, he has 9 10. Um, you can have 7 8 and then I'm already screwed. Uh, so I'm just falling there. You can, for guys who doubt about this, I really don't want, just want to blow a whole stack with on, on that flop with one, a one pair type of hand. And then you're gonna say, oh, but you did it with the aces. Well, but I had uh, I, I I had the advantage with the aces in the sense that I was the one who do, was doing the betting, and he was the one who's doing the calling. And it was a three bet pot, uh, so a lot more money was already invested. So, uh, so you can't compare the both uh, cases. And also, this was multi way uh, on, on table number four. It's the same guy on table number one and table number four. I just noticed it now. But I like my play on table number one. I like my. Uh, on table number two with the aces. I like my reads. I like that I didn't pussy out by checking on, that, on, on the river. 
uh, because the flush got there so uh, my analysis was uh, good on um, table number four uh, it's open for discussion with the aces whether uh, it's a fault or uh, a call you can make a call you can make a call obviously and then check to turn to him and maybe he he pushes out and uh, checks back and uh, you're good if uh, the straight doesn't get there but uh, yeah it's it's open for discussion maybe I was a little bit too pussy here just to insta fold immediately but I don't see uh, a whole lot can good come from uh, calling and definitely not from getting it in the guy does seem uh, 44 33 after uh, nine hands so he plays quite a few hands uh, King Jack I'm merely gonna call uh, for reasons that I uh, my hand is I'm not gonna waste King Jack suited uh, on a three bet here I'm gonna show you something in the first hand that I played on table number one let's see if I can show you guys Come on, come on, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Well, basically, it's nine. I had, oh uh, yeah, there it is. I had jack nine and offsuit, and there I did make a three bet. But King Jack suited is too good to waste on a three bet here. Uh, I'm gonna call. Yeah. If I raise, I don't expect to get called by uh, a lot worse. So. King Jack, I'm just folding now. Wow, that's a huge bet. One twenty-one, uh, one dollar twenty-one cents. I have top pair. Not a good kicker. I don't believe I'm. No, I'm. I'm not good here against the guy. Eleven zero after only nine hands, but at least it tells me something. I'm just gonna fold my top pair here. I don't believe he even does this with something like King Ten. Uh, well, maybe, but it beats me. So he's not doing this with anything worse. So I'm just gonna fall. Uh, with the a6, I'm gonna defend my big blind uh, versus um, min raise. He checks back. Uh, I'm just gonna bet uh, like 23 cents and hopefully just take it away. Looking um, on for uh, on table number three and four, we have really the bad people on a shitty position. Like the 45 27 guy here on table number four is on my left here. On table number three, it's the 57 43 guy. Um, it's annoying because they don't fold and they have position on me. On table number one, it's great that I have position on Alexir, Alexir, and on table number four, well, table number four is good because I also have position on Alexir. I just am annoyed by the Am Amparo guy, but definitely, I don't, I don't know. You don't have to tag people green like I do, but it really helps out a lot uh, just to see whether there's a reason to stay on the table, uh, visually, especially when you're multi-tabling. Table number two is like now a table that I would be leaving unless uh, this guy. Oh, he's from the same country as me, Belgium. He seems pretty bad. He's not fully stacked. Uh, we'll see. Ace King, um, this is interesting. Did I three bet before? No, but I did. Did I three bet this guy? No, I didn't. I am going to three bet. Cut off versus button. I'm willing to stack off with Ace King. Uh, but I'm not saying cut off versus button. Blinds versus button. I'm willing to stack off uh, with Ace King. 
In the very next hand we get kings, which is nice if uh, somebody raises, and this is nice. Uh, Alexir, a uh, guy who is not going to fold, so I'm gonna 3-bet him. He just pro I hope he just saw me 3-betting the other guy. He does make the call, he hits, yeah, oh well, we didn't need to hit the king. Uh, so, uh, it's a 3 bad pot, let's make it $1.10 to continue. Uh, no, let's just make it $1. Uh, can I get the money in? I'm just looking at this stack. Uh, I don't think this guy cares whether it's $1 or $1.10, but $1 seems smaller, so... He makes the call. I'm not too worried about the flash draw. I'm just wor I'm j the only thing I'm worried about is getting all the money in. Um, I'm not gonna bet like one, two dollars. Yeah, it's even two. What looks less? One eighty looks a lot less than. I just don't want to see another diamond though come off. But anyway, yeah, one eighty. Okay, he calls and don't pussy out now. I'm thinking that he has the flush. I'm just gonna shove. Not shove, I'm just gonna put them all in. I'm just uh, Hollywooding a bit, a little bit. Uh, if I'm beat uh, at this point, I'm, I mean, I don't blame myself for anything. Uh, and we, yeah, I mean, that's. That's how you play the micro stakes. And now if the guy leaves, I would be leaving the table too. Because all the other guys think, and he does leave. So, um, this is the, the time to actually leave the table. Unless another monkey joins his seat. But usually, uh, the bad people don't go sit around on waiting lists. Well, the guy who did join uh, only has $8. Um, this is interesting. This is. I'm actually gonna call just because it's min bet. I believe this guy is limped in. I'm gonna tag in green. I have position. This is the. If I were in the small blind with king nine suited, I would be falling. Oh wow, he makes. Okay, I'm tagging in green. This is. He's got a really good hand, but now I'm getting like really good odds. Just I hope the flop comes 999. We didn't. Now we have an easy fault. Is nine off the table on four raisable? Um, no, there's a little bit too aggressive people uh, on my left, so I'm just gonna let it go. If it was suited, I would have raised. Eight, nine offsuit, I'm gonna raise. Uh, and from the cutoff, the button seems nitty, and the big blind seems crappy, and uh, from my country, so he must be bad. Decent flop, just standard C pants. So um, I'm happy that we did the preview uh, f f before this live play, where I said to myself, "Okay, don't be such a, w a wimp and either p and pussy out." And it already became. Uh, well, I don't say that I would have played the both hands differently if I didn't do the review, but at least uh, it gave me extra confidence um, that I should be. Uh, but here, with the, I'm just gonna give up. I'm not. Uh, I don't see what I can float with. Seven queens suited cut off. Unfortunately, Amparo is a guy. Uh, the only reason is because Elixir, I stacked him on table number one, is in the big blind and I want to play against him. I want to take his stack on this table too. Oh wow, he 3-bets me. That's 
Ah, it's a little bit too crappy of a hand, a seven queen, but I do know if I hit. Ah, it's a small three bet. He's fully stacked. He probably knows who I am because I stacked him on the previous table. I'm gonna call and really hope to hit big. We don't. He checks to me, which is fine. I'm not gonna bluff him. Uh, we see that he doesn't fold, so uh, he's gonna float me even with his king and uh, stuff like this. So he's gonna check it back. Uh, with the ace three, what happens here? I am in the big blind. Yeah, small blind. I'm just gonna fold, and I'm just. Folding. I'm not gonna 3 bet uh, Razor King. He might be eyes raising a little bit light, but I, he's 44 33. I don't think he falls to a lot of 3 bets. And know that I should be value betting Alex here that he doesn't like to fold. Also, I called it through the. It's no mistake to fold there with Queen 7. On the contrary, it's more a mistake to call with 7 Queen suit than it is to fold. But. Uh, King five suited. This might be a squeeze here. Um, I'm going to squeeze with the King five suited. It's a crappy hand. King five suited. I never call uh, profitably with. There's somebody called uh, a knit call. So I'm in tele poker here. On the button is definitely going to fold. Uh, King 3 suited, I can 3 bet this guy, no reads though, um, I have position, uh, yeah, I'm gonna 3 bet him, and here I'm gonna see bet, Six is oh wow, he's so short, I didn't see that he was this short, um, See bending here. If he shoves, I'm gonna have to fold though uh, on table number one, and he can be shoving with. Um, he calls. He can have. I'm not gonna give him a free card. Uh, if he has a better king, so be it. But I think there a lot of his range is um, is flesh draws. Um, So let's bet 2.1. Oh wow, he shoves now. Ah, I'm gonna have to fold this. here we have 8 high I don't think a 67 guy is going to fold any pair oh we're still good no he had to pair 2 so he would have fold wow okay focus here I'm just gonna have to fold I'm gonna save myself four dollars yeah either I'm already beat or I'm gonna be beaten by the river And I'm folding ace queen versus a three bet uh, position. Here with the jacks, blind versus blind, I'm gonna make a raise. Mm. 
Oh wow. Uh, he re-raises me. Um, that's a full bag. I'm gonna just gonna shove it in. Let me make a quick so he I re raise I re raise uh, I'm gonna fall out all his bluffs though by shoving it all in. The other hand checks. Yeah, I'm shoving all in. Blind versus blind if he has um and he did was on a bluff, unfortunately. If I merely call in an overcard comes and he see that some um, pot is really big and I can't really call big bets with another pair, so that's why I shoved. And Jax is a little bit just weak to make the call there. If I had kings or aces, I would never shove there. By the way, um, and queens is borderline. Um, Jack Queen suited table number three. Table number three is also a table I would be leaving. Uh, it's the same guy. Uh, no, Jack Queen is a pretty good hand to play, even if uh, the guy on the button comes along. So I'm not gonna three bet this one. Top pair, medium kicker. He checks to me. Weird. Um, why would he check? I can check it back. Because I don't think if I bet that he ever gonna get, uh, gets, uh, if he ever calls with anything worse, I just want him to bluff. He seems like a guy capable of bluffing. Um, um, uh, I just keep on calling. Uh, with the king came off, which kind of sucks, but that's the risk you take. And we had the same hand. Uh, nice. well, I didn't three bet this one, uh, which is fine. I'm just gonna call him. Check it and just call him down essentially. If he keeps on betting, I'm calling. Unless he makes like huge bets. Um, now I have to make a value bet. But I don't think he's calling with a whole lot. Like two over cards, I might induce a bluff. <sighs> There's really no. Okay, let's bet half the pot. Because I don't think I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, uh, he's gonna fall too off. It's just. So, uh, I think the video has been running uh, for an hour, or more or less. Um, I'm gonna close it out. Uh, sit out my blinds. I think uh, we you saw my stats. I went over a few of my hands. Uh, I went to the grinder school for cash forums, did some live play. So it was a little bit of everything. Uh, let me guys, uh, let me know what you guys f uh, thought, and I'll see you guys uh, in the forums. Also, I'm I might do. A little bit more. So, uh, what I want, what I want to achieve with uh, go, uh, looking at the grind school forms is that people post more hands and um, and I'll review them in videos rather than me typing it out. Just because me typing it out uh, takes a lot more of my time than uh, me just uh, telling it. Uh, also, I sometimes. 
have more difficulty expressing myself when I have to write in English than when I have to talk in English. Um, and it just gives another, it just gives, um, it just gives another dimension when you can talk about the hand and just uh, give your uh, write up. Okay, um, with this I'm gonna close the video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys.